Hey everyone, Deacon082 here with my next Let's Play. And if you saw this one coming from what I talked about in the last video, or if you saw it on my channel, this is Donkey Kong for the original Game Boy. And if you had no idea that this was coming, well, let me just tell you, it'll be a completely different game than my first Let's Play of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. As you can see, this game is copyright 1994. It came out in June of 94, meaning this game is older than I am by less than a month. You can leave it sit on this screen to see some of Mario's abilities, but we'll be learning about them throughout playing this game, so I'm not going to bother. So we'll go ahead and start our save file. I guess we'll take file 2, because file 1's already beat the game. So standard Donkey Kong style play from the arcade. You got your first few levels. Mario's picked up a few nice moves in this game, which we will get into later. But for starters, we're just gonna go with our classic jumping over barrels, climbing ladders. You even get a hammer. But here we go, jump over the barrel. We're going to take this really slowly and I am not good at taking this game slowly. And I'm not really good at taking this game quickly either. So we're just gonna motor on through. And that didn't work either, okay? We've lost two lives on the first level of the game. Let me just warn you, there will be a lot of rage in this series. You don't even want to know how many times I died on my first file. Probably about a hundred times. But let's not, in the let's not get into that. In this game, this is before the days of Princess Peach. Before the days when she was called Princess Toadstool. There was no Princess Peach back then. In fact, the girl we are rescuing is Mario's girlfriend, Pauline. Oddly enough, Pauline never existed before and never existed again. So where'd Pauline come from in this game? I don't really know. But how are we going to get across there with this guy? Well, we're going to climb up. There we go. Whoa! There we go. It's all about knowing where your safe spots are on this level. Yeah, I'm running out of commentary already, just about three minutes into the series. But, I mean, I'm going to have some trouble commentating this game. Ironically enough, this level right here was the level in any video game that took me the longest to beat. I could not figure it out when I was little. I had this game for years before I beat it. Before I beat this level. But once we do it, Donkey Kong is defeated! And we have reunited with Pauline and beat the game. But wait. For those who played the original arcade version, this game is much, much longer. Donkey Kong steals our girlfriend and runs off into various rooms that are locked by keys in order to find Donkey Kong and save our girlfriend. We have to open these doors and chase down Donkey Kong. Now the points you get are based on your times going through the level. It gives you an option to save every four. The first area we'll be going to is the big city. As you can see Donkey Kong moves uh, four levels ahead and we gotta catch up to him. So now would be a good time to show off a few of our moves. We can jump obviously. We can pick things up with a B button. Or at least B to, I mean, pick, press B again to throw them at other things. We have a hammer. You can hit stuff with a hammer, obviously. You can throw away the hammer with B. Now we gotta get over to where this key is. Now you pick up the key with B, and you take it to the doorway. And level completed. There are a lot more new moves. But I won't be doing them yet. 
because the game tells us about them as we go on. We can pick up the dogs and throw them at the trash cans, or the other way around. Now this, we get to climb up on this wire, and we can actually swing upwards, which is pretty cool. So we get the key, and this time we actually have to take the key through the level. Now we can throw the key in any direction, even straight up, which we have to do here. Then we can jump across. And these extra items. There's a umbrella, it's called a parasol in this. There is a hat, and there is, I think it's called a bag. Parasol, hat, and bag. If you collect all three, you'll get to spin the bonus wheel. Which will give you some extra lives, and we just earned three of them. This game is no slouch for extra lives, even if you find yourself dying quite a bit. So here we go. Level 3. You can run across these one square gaps as long as you don't turn while running on them. We'll toss the key because we don't, I mean the hammer because we don't need this anymore. And we'll go onto this wire. Um, how about we swing up here? There we go. Now we can get the key and throw it upwards and then go get it. We could have actually taken the key with us, but I like throwing it. I really like showing off in this game. I don't know why. Let's see if we can get three extra lives again. Nope, two. It, you, it, it'll like take a full circle around after where you stop it. So every four levels, you'll have another Donkey Kong stage. And in this one, he will shake the ground and make various objects fall. If you are on the ground when he shakes it, you will be stunned for a little bit. So you'll want to be careful there. This one is not hard at all, as we can run up. We weren't even challenged there. Come on, Donkey Kong. But he, he still runs away with our girlfriend, so we have to chase him again. Um, the flashing score means that that is a high score for us in the levels. Oh no, he took out the bridge. What will we ever do? Let's build a new one. These in the game are called roads. There are also ladders that will allow us to climb up. So, we'll beat that. Four more levels here in the big city. I guess we'll finish this up in this episode. I was thinking, like, I really want to get this game done in 10 episodes, which the indication that it's a really short game. Because it is a short game. I mean, obviously compared to Mario and Luigi, that took like 15 hours of game time. This will not take nearly that long. I wanted to beat it in two hours, but it looked like three because I was failing so bad, but whatever. Yeah. So if I do, um, a little spoiler alert, there are nine worlds in this game, not counting what we did earlier in this episode, which I guess counts as world zero. So if I do one every episode, that gets nine, and some towards the end will take longer than others, so I'll like do more than one world in an episode. I mean, do more than one episode for each world or something. And it'll come out to like 10 episodes. If I plan it right. And I did not time that at all. Yeah, here I go saying this game isn't hard and I'm over here dying every every two minutes. Um, I think, I think I'll put a death counter on the bottom of the screen every time I die for this entire series. And how about whoever can guess the total number of deaths closest to exactly for the entire series gets to win something. I don't know what, but you'll get something, some little prize. I don't know what it'll be, but hey, my prediction's going to be uh, 60... Eh, 69. 
69 deaths, just so no one else, no one else will take that number. 69 is my favorite number, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so hot. Now, on this level, I like to throw the dog up there so it's out of the way. And then, you can use this road and move the dogs farther along. And now we can jump off their heads to the doorway. Very crafty, Mario is. Quite crafty indeed. And we're making really good time. We are already to the boss stage. Now the final level in each area is a boss. For the boss stages, you'll be throwing barrels at Donkey Kong. And standard for me, showing off like I mentioned, I like to throw barrels the fun way. Aw oh, man, I threw the barrel and I hit the other barrel. You gotta time this a little bit. There we go. And landing on the next barrel. There we go. Throwing them and hitting them in the foot. Or hitting them in the crotch. Or throwing them through the floor. And hitting them from below. Eh, whatever. So, we're leaving the big city. Where will we be next? Next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong for the Game Boy, we will be cr we will be progressing into the next area, which we will see what it is before we go there. We will be leaving the big city and entering the forest. See you next time.